Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail that comes out of what many people consider the dark ages of cocktails. That's the 1980s. Uh, this cocktail itself, called the Japanese Slipper, comes to us out of 1984, and it was invented by Jean-Paul Bourguignon while he was at the Mietta restaurant in Melbourne, Australia. Now, it is an easy three-part cocktail, and when I say three parts, I mean three equal parts being one ounce of each ingredient. Now it's also a shaken cocktail, so grab your shaking glass. And what we're going to do is move that off to the side and grab yourself a lemon. So what we'll do is we will cut this in half and squeeze one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Your next ingredient is an orange liqueur. Now in this case, I'm using Cointreau. You could use a triple sec, but use something that is clear in color because you don't want to affect the color in any way. So we're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. The third ingredient that you're going to use is a melon liqueur. And you need one that is specifically green in color. And in this case, I'm using Midori because it's got this fantastic green color. It also gives you the flavors of musk and Ubari melons, but we'll use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. The next step that we're going to do is to shake this with ice. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your glass is full of ice because we want to make sure that we get the correct dilution. We also want to shake this for about eight to 10 seconds till we hit that proper chill method that we want. Slap that on hard, make sure you have a good seal, give it a flick and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand melons and a couple of extra limes. Put it off to the side and grab yourself a nice Nick and Nora. Something nice and delicate. So what we'll do now is we will grab our Hawthorne strainer and our fine strainer and we'll strain out any pulp or ice crystals. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous and absolutely nuclear green in color. Now, we are going to garnish this with a cherry. Now, you could use a dark cherry if you want, but I'm going to use a nuclear red cherry to go just with it, and we'll just drop it into the center. And look at that. That is a Japanese slipper. Let's give it a try. The melon sits behind the lemon and the orange liqueur just a little bit. It is a sweeter cocktail with a hint of tartness. And you know what? Really good, but you can adjust the amount of lemon juice that you want in this. If you like this style of cocktail, definitely take a look right up here.